Welcome to Old Dominion University, home of the monarchs. I'm on the campus of Old Dominion University, and the reason I'm here is because I am a college student. Yes, I'm probably one of the oldest college students here, but I don't care because I don't pay hardly anything for my college classes. In fact, I don't pay any tuition. The only thing I pay are lab fees or technology fees that they have for each course. And this semester, I'm taking Intro to Digital Photography and also Documentary Production in the Film Department. These classes are great fun and I figured they're going to help me out with my YouTube channel and photography will be a great hobby for me. Now you might ask yourself, how does someone take college classes for free? Well, it's simple. The only requirement is you have to be 60 years old and a resident of the state of Virginia. Both of these things are not a problem for me. Now to register for classes, you simply have to fill out a form and to deliver it to the registrar's office. But there is a trick to this process. You cannot take a class until the last day of signing up for class. In other words, I have to wait until the first day of classes to sign up for a class because the university wants to ensure that all the paying students get the classes first. And since I don't pay, I can only take a class if there is space available in the class. Every state in the country has a similar program, but the age requirements vary from state to state. Some states it's as little as age 55. Some states require you to be 65 years old. And because you can only take a class on a space available basis, there have been several classes that I have wanted to take, but could not take. In fact, the digital photography class that I'm taking now, it took me two years to get into this class because space was not available in the class. Just so happens this semester, I was able to get in. And it's been a great class and I've had a lot of fun. My intro to digital photography class meets in the Hickson Art Studio building on the second floor. In the photography computer lab. Now one of the rules here is if you go to class, you have to wear a mask. That's their COVID prevention idea. This is my intro to digital photography class. And the reason they have a technology fee is all of these nice computers sitting on the desks. Here we're coming up to Good Theater. This is where I'm taking my documentary production class. Here we come to the sound stage. And this is where my documentary production class takes place. And as you walk around, you can see the size of this place. And all that equipment is why there's a $25 equipment fee. I've always wanted to do a scene in a green screen, so now I can put anything I want behind me. That would be really cool. I think maybe I'll try it. What do you think of this? Or maybe this? And how about this? In some ways, I would say I'm living the college student dream. I take classes and I can't fail. So you just go in for the information, you learn, and you pass. Well, you don't really pass, but you can't fail because you audit the course. You're only there for the information, not for a grade and not to get credit for a college course, which is why most of the other students are here because they're seeking a degree. 
But for me, there are a lot of college classes that have very useful information that I can use in my everyday life. The first class I took at Old Dominion University tuition free was Introduction to Filmmaking, which also met in the Good Theater. The next two courses I took were Digital Basics in the Art Department, which was taught in the Barry Arts Building. The other class was Museums and Museumologies taught in the History Department in the Batten Liberal Arts Building. The next semester, I took Historical Methods in the History Department, and this class was in the Education Building. Another good thing about being over 60 and taking classes at Old Dominion University is that they have free parking for you. But don't tell the other students because they have to pay for their parking. Just another benefit of getting older. At least there are some for it. To find out which classes you can take at Old Dominion University, first you must go to odu.edu. Then once you get on the website, you click on My ODU. This will bring up a large menu. And from this menu, you want to go to Academics and then scroll over to Course Search and click on Course Search. This will bring up this screen. Then you use the drop down menu to pick the semester that you want to attend school. Then you go to the subject and you drop that down. So let's say I want to take another art class because I just took Intro to Digital Photography this semester. So I want to take Photography too. So I go to Art Studio Arts and click the toggle switch. Then I go over to the search button and click search. This will bring up the class listings that you can go through. And you scroll down the page and look for the class that you want. See, here's Intro to Digital Photography here in the spring semester. But I'm looking for Photography too. So I'll click the next page. And I still don't see it on this page. So I scroll forward again. And there it is, Photography 2. I expand it out using this button. And one thing you have to check, at this time, it is now the last day in November. So students can sign up for class all the way up to the beginning of class. So as a student over 60 taking a course for free, you have to wait until the class begins. This class will begin on January 8th, 2022. There are currently six openings in the class of 12, but that could change from now to then. You can see this is three semester hours, but if you're like me, you'll be auditing the course and you won't get any credit. So the amount of semester hours doesn't make any difference to us. Now you can see it meets on Monday, Wednesday from 9 to 11.50. So that's good for my schedule. Now if you take the course, you can't get the book for free. So you can check on how much the book is going to cost by clicking this button, which is the bookstore, and it's going to come up and tell us if there's a book. And so far, this book has not been determined for this class, so I don't know how much the book will cost if I want to take the class. Now, also, the photography, intro to digital photography class that I took had a $60 fee for technology. And you see here, no fee information is available yet. So if there's a technology fee, even though you get free tuition for this class, you still have to pay the technology fee for the class. And for photography, the first photography class, Intro to Digital Photography, that fee was $60.
So now that you've figured out how to find the class, say you want to come back and look for it later. Well, just remember what the course number is and you can limit your search to only one class if you like. And we search again and it's only Photography 2 here. Now when it's time to register for class on January 8th, you will have to fill out a form. Here is the form you need to fill out. As you can see, it only requires basic information and then the courses that you want to take and when they meet and the instructor's name. Fairly simple. To go to Tidewater Community College to take classes, which is the local community college near me, I would go to tcc.edu. Once on this website, you would go to this top line and click on Students. Once you are in the Students webpage, you go down to Class Search. Click on Class Search, and it's going to bring up another tab on your computer. This is a different kind of system than what we saw at Old Dominion University. And this system also call it, covers other community colleges around the state of Virginia. Now you notice it says 2021 fall. What we want to do is change the term. And we want to check out spring of 2022. Now they have a subject drop down menu, which you can search through to find your class. But say you're not sure what department a subject is in. So you can search their system. I'm going to put in photo, F H O T O, and click the search button. And it brings up the different classes that are available. So let's say I want to take Intro to Digital Photography at Tidewater Community College just to see if it's different than what it was at Old Dominion. Now here is a class that meets from the 10th of January until the 2nd of May on Tuesday and Thursday from 3.30 to 5.55. That class fits well in my schedule. So I'm going to click on the class. Now this gives me information about the class once again. It tells me when it meets. It tells me who the instructor is. And the class beginning and end date and how many credits the class is. But I want to check the availability. So I'll click on availability. And this tells us that this class is open right now, that six students have enrolled, but there's only room for 11 in the class. So this course might be a good one to take in the spring. Go back to details. Now we can get a course description by clicking on that, and that will tell us more about the class. Also, if we want to check to see what the textbook is, we can check on textbooks. And right now, no bookstore information is available for this class. So we just click OK. You can check this again when it gets closer to the time that school starts. Now, the difference between Tidewater Community College and Old Dominion University is Tidewater Community College actually makes you apply for the college before you can take classes. But you can do this online and it only takes a few minutes. Then once you've enrolled, then you have to go down to the college and get a form similar to the one that Old Dominion University has. Another difference is Tidewater Community College will allow you to register for classes two or three days before classes start, which is very convenient 
because then you do not have to worry about missing the first day of class, which can happen at Old Dominion University. Well, that sums up how to find out about classes at Tidewater Community College. Now, depending on where you live, you would like to check out the colleges near you and the universities near you, and they will all have different registration requirements and procedures. And I cannot tell you what they are in other states. Now, if a college is a private college or university, you will not be able to get free tuition at a private school. It has to be a school that is state supported.